Hey guys, today we're gonna to talk about how to pack your surfboard travel bag for airplane travel. Today we have the, the, kind, the kind Recon travel bag. This fits two board bags. I definitely recommend this for long trips. It's in the link below the video. If you wanna check it out and purchase it on Amazon. So when packing your boards, the first thing that you wanna do, I'm not gonna do it today, but you wanna scrape and clean all the wax off, off your board because it does get hot on an airplane and you don't want it to melt on there while you're traveling. So take off all your wax and also take off your fins. That way your fins don't get damaged and you can easily slide your board in and out of your bag. With the Dekine Recon bag, this board is made, excuse me, this bag is made to fit two boards. So it has a nice rubber insulated separator in here to pad and protect between both your boards. You can put in one on the front side and one on the back side as well, as you can see. The other thing that you want to do after you have your board in there is you want to put in as much padding as you possibly can so that your board doesn't get dinged or dented while being thrown around on a plane. The best things that I find for that are using a spare wetsuit if you're going somewhere cold. Usually you want to pack these snugly around the tip and the tail of your board. And if you're not going somewhere cold, then a towel will also do the trick. Again, around the, the tail and the nose are the most uh, sensitive places and then you can also pack them here along the side so it protects the rail of your board. You can also throw in any spare clothes or anything soft to give you that added protection. Some people like to use styrofoam uh, around the edge, but if you don't have that, then wetsuits, towels, and clothes will do just fine. And once you got it all packed up, you're good to go. Get out on your trip internationally and shred some international waters. Till next time, guys.